and we saw the, the comet fading and fading and fading. And then it went behind the occulting disk, because these cameras have an occulting disk to mask the sun. But then it was taken by the Solar Dynamics Observatory, which is another space, uh, space observatory that has no occulting disk or anything, has special filters. And the comet should have been there. The satellite has been positioned especially to capture the comet. I was looking at the images just now. I couldn't see anything. So, oh, uh, were you disappointed? Uh, well, yes, actually. I we wanted to were. see this comet again. Yes. I don't know if something has survived or not. It's early stages yet. We have to wait a couple of hours to see if the comet comes on the other side, as it has happened before with uh, other comets. Right. But in this case, I think the comet was very uh, soft material and it just vaporized, I think. Because, I mean, we heard it was something like a, a snowball throwing a snowball at the sun. Exactly, I mean, that kind of thing. <laughs> it didn't have uh, much of a chance then of surviving Well, it, it. depends on how, how compact, how solid this uh, snowball mm. is, because it's a mixture of water and uh, different uh, uh, substances like methane and ammonia. That's and what a comet is. Carbon it's kind dioxide. of made out of soft yeah. material. And it's all, all this is frozen. It's like a mm. frost that is covering this dust. And then uh, the dust is, 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 is not very rocky, say it's very, very uh, fragmented. It will vaporize. It, it will vaporize.